ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're healthy you're happy and i am welcoming you today from cyprus and you can see here this is my childhood tree i used to climb from this tree <laughs> and do all sorts of things either jumping or hanging close <laughs> as a flag as a victory flag but uh, i am indeed welcoming you from cyprus but i am delighted to bring you today as I did refer in my previous uh, video, uh, Regina versus Wilson, which is very, very interesting because we are dealing with a husband and wife who essentially their husband branded on the wife's buttocks his initials. Now she consented to that. And the question is, he's being prosecuted. Will the defense of consent be available? And if it is available and it is successful at uh, a trial, does that mean he needs to be acquitted? Without listening what I've got to tell you, and by listening to the video that I've posted uh, before, which is the Regina versus Brown, essentially the homosexual males assaulting each other for sexual pleasure, they were found guilty because the judges said that consent is not available uh, for um, ABH warning and therefore they were found guilty. Is this the same case? Is this similar? So let's get started. Let's let's look into it. Let's discuss those questions. Now in this case indeed we are dealing with a couple that the husband branded on her buttocks his initials A N W. At his interview when he was uh, when the police officers were investigating the case and they took an interview from him uh, he confessed to it. He made full admissions as to what happened. And I have here with me now a quote from his interview that I would like to share with you. Now he says that I put them there. She wanted a tattoo and I did not know how to do a tattoo, but she wanted my name tattooed on her bum, but I didn't know how to do it. So I burnt on, uh, I burnt a hot knife. It wasn't life threatening. It wasn't anything like that. It was done for love. She loved me. She wanted me to uh, give my name on her body. As I say, she asked me originally if I would do a tattoo my name on her. She wanted me to do it on her breast and I talked her out of it because I did not know how to do a tattoo. And she said, and he quotes on his interview that, well, there must be some way. If you can't do a tattoo, then there must be some other way. So, um, so essentially that's the one part of what she, she said and she carries on telling him that I am not scared of anybody knowing that I love you enough to have your name on my body or something to that extent. Now, this is what he said at his Tate interview, and it was brought at the court. Um, essentially, a police officer came and gave evidence, and the Tate interview was exhibited, and it was heard in open court by the members of the jury and the trial judge. Now, the trial judge decided that there is a case to answer because he was bound by the R versus Brown and, um, and he was found guilty. Now, this matter went all the way up to the Court of Appeal uh, before Russell Law Justice, Bracewell Justice and the Judge Storion QC. So three Court of Appeal judges dealt with this case and what they did, they quashed his conviction. And I do have here uh, quotes as to what was said because it is quite interesting for us to differentiate between R versus Brown and R versus Wilson. Now, in this case, they said that the action taken by Mr. Wilson could be equated with tattooing, which attracted no criminal sanctions whatsoever. Public policy, public policy considerations were relevant in determining where, uh, what activity amounted to criminal behavior. So therefore, it was inappropriate um, in, a, in a changing world for him to be prosecuted or indeed for him to be found guilty based on those facts. So therefore, consent was a successful um, defense and he was found no guilty. So his conviction was quashed. Now, you may ask me, how is that even possible? Do they give a preferential status because it is husband and wife and they are... And, and they're saying that the sacred matrimonial home could be protected from any criminal sanctions. Do this, do this decision give, does this decision give a special status to the marital relationship instead of the homosexual activities? Uh, or indeed sadomasochistic um, activities? Let me know what you think about it. Do you see the conflict between those two decisions? Make sure you stay uh, tuned because the next one case I'm bringing before you, it's, it's one that's going to shed light into all these uncertainties. Let me know what you think about this case, um, R versus Wilson, you know, whether you would do anything like that to manifest your love to the other, uh, to your other half, your husband or your cohabitee or your other half. And, um, 
let me know what you think about this case. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to carry on my day here. It's a beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. I love you loads. Bye-bye.